Using volume automation in Pro Tools is easy. As you already know, we can change the volume of all the clips in a track using the volume slider on the track. So if we listen to this ambient sound, if we want the sound louder, we can left click and drag the volume up. And if we want the volume quieter, we can of course left click and drag the volume slider down. And this changes the volume of the track. However, there are times when we might want the volume to change over time. Perhaps we want the ambient sound a little louder in places, or perhaps we want music a little quieter in places. To do this, we can use volume automation. We can view the volume automation lane by clicking this icon in the lower left hand corner of each track. If I click on this icon, we'll see we have a new lane with a line on it and it is labeled volume. Instead of using the default volume automation lane, left click where it says volume and choose instead volume trim. This will allow us to automate the volume and maintain control of the overall volume of the track using our fader, which the volume automation line by default does not allow for. So when automating your volume, I highly recommend using volume trim. Here's how volume automation works. You can add points to this line. Pro Tools refers to these points as breakpoints. If I hold Command, I can left click and add a point. And I can add several points along the timeline. These kind of become hinges. If I left click and drag on any of these points, it will allow me to raise or lower the volume of the track. Let's see what this sounds like. As you can see, the volume now follows the line. If I want to delete any of these points, I can hold Option, and when I hover over the little point, I get a finger with a minus sign, and I can just left click on that point and delete it. I can also delete points by left clicking and dragging a selection where I have this cursor that looks like an eye. I can highlight the points I want to delete, simply hit my delete key and they're gone. I can also add points by left clicking and dragging and creating a selection. And then if I move my cursor over the line, the cursor will turn into a downward facing bracket. Here, I can left click and hold and drag up or down and it will automatically create four points and a change in volume. Let's hear what this sounds like. So the volume has changed, but the transition is very sudden. I can smooth out this transition in any number of ways. The easiest way, left click on any of these points and simply drag them inward a little bit to smooth that transition. Let's hear what this sounds like. That's far less abrupt. I could also do the same thing with the dots at the top. I can left click, drag, smooth them out, and my transition is now smoother. Or I could highlight over the dots. Now, if I tap the X key, the dots will be spread to the beginning and end of my selection. So I type X and they are instantly smoothed out. If I want a longer transition, I can select a greater amount of time and simply type X and we'll see that I have now a long transition. Or if I select a short amount of time, I will get a shorter transition.
And once again, wherever I have this sharp transition, I can highlight and type X. And I can also click and drag any of these points freely. If I don't want an individual point, I can hold Option and click, and that will delete the one point. If I'd like to delete many points, I can simply click, drag, highlight all the points I want deleted, and hit my Delete key. And that's it. That's how you use volume automation in Pro Tools. Let's see an example of how this might be useful. I'm going to play back this track and see how the ambient sound I have sounds underneath the voice that I've recorded. Roll into an unexpected traffic jam earlier today when they slowly ambled across a busy road. So the ambient sound is too loud. So the first thing I'm going to do is lower the volume of the ambient sound. An unexpected traffic jam earlier today when they slowly ambled across so it doesn't sound too loud under the voice. I'm seeing two lines now. This blue line represents the value of the volume slider. The yellow line represents the volume of the volume trim line. They work in conjunction with one another. Again, the line that I'm going to be adding automation to is going to be the yellow volume trim line. Let's listen to this from the beginning of the clip. A group of adventurous turtles turned their morning stroll into an unexpected traffic jam earlier today when they slowly ambled across a busy road. Drivers in the area... I might want my ambient sound to be a little bit louder in the beginning and maybe a little bit louder as the voice pauses. So to do that, I'm going to highlight the section I'd like to be a little bit louder get my downward facing bracket, left click and drag up just a little bit to raise the volume. And let's see how that sounds. A group of adventurous turtles. Tur the volume sounds right to me. However, the transition is rough. So I'm going to highlight over it and just tap my X key to smooth out that transition. And let's see how that sounds. A group of adventurous turtles turn their morning stroll and I'm going to do the same thing here, where there's a slight break in the voice, just to raise the volume up a little bit, and smooth the transition out by highlighting and tapping my X key. It's a busy road. Drivers in the area paused patiently. Some even stepped out of their cars to snap photos of the slow moving spectacle. The little shell-backed travelers made it safely to now from here, now that I've added my volume automation, if I've decided at any point that I want the volume of the entire track raised or lowered, I can still do that with the volume slider here on the track. So if I'm playing this clip, just to snap photos of the slow moving, and I decided, you know what? I do want the ambient sound a little overall louder. I can change that here and everything still changes uniformly. Their cars to snap photos of the slow moving like we would expect. Cross a busy road. Drivers in the area paused patiently. Some even stepped out of their cars to snap. And that's how you automate volume in Pro Tools.